Hello everyone, are you facing screen stuttering or screen freezing issue in your Windows system with AMD Ryzen processors or APUs like Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7 and you have been very very much frustrated here you can see it is getting 100% video codec usage in the GPU section of the tax manager we are playing only two videos one in YouTube with VP09 codec and one in, in VLC player it is basically noticeable in any player like game player VLC player or even any browser like Firefox Chrome because it is a bug of the AMD GPU driver of the Vega 11 graphics driver here you can see it is reaching 100% and that's why it is system is freezing or stuttering issue so we have tried everything like updating the BIOS updating the windows updating the driver uninstalling the driver reinstalling the windows everything you have done I know so I'm not gonna talk about all those things here here I will give one github link just go there and download this second option this Ryzen ADJ win64 version the second zip file you have to download it this is basically a command line tweak which will fix our issue so without going to very deep into the software how it works basically one value of the hertz or the voltage or everything and tweak is there which have been not fixed or patched by the amd team so you have just have to download and extract the zip file and you may face if you are running that exe file you may face this kind of error runtime 140.dll error so basically you are going to face this error if you are using in a very fresh install of windows 10 so what you have to do you have to search in google and just drop down and download the file what is there basically the visual c++ that's basically you have to install it so i will give all the link in the description next what you have to do just you have to check this thing that it is running successfully or not so go to the copy the file path where the exe file is located open the command prompt in add run as administrator permission then cd space the path go in the path and type the following command ryzen adj.exe and basically argument will be dash dash min v dash vcn equal to 600 we have to set the value to at least 600 i have tested in my system so 600 is preferable i am using ryzen 5 3400g apu with msi b40m motherboard with 32 gb 3000 megahertz ram so here you can see again i am playing the same youtube video and same video in the vlc player and here you can see it is only below 30 or 40 percent video codec usage and there is no sign of frame drop screen freezing screen tattering and any issue it is not even reaching 100 percent before creating this video i have tested throughout the one day and never faced any issue with this tweak now the problem is fixed but that is not uh, totally fixed because we have done via the command line tools everything you have to done each time you boot the system so i have a fix for that you have to create a tax scheduler so that every time you log in the system or start up the windows system you are not gonna do anything it will be everything automatically done here you can see i am now playing five videos five full hd videos 1080 pixel four in youtube and one in the vlc player it is no frame drop is there everything zero one two something just very very much negligible frame drop it is not a frame drop so here you can see no issue is there five videos simultaneously playing in my system and gpu is not even reaching the video codec to 100 percent here you can see so this is very very much useful and this is basically a bug from the amd team they have not fixed it and they do not listen to any users i don't know what's wrong with them but they do not listen but if you are using linux os like ubuntu linux mint manjaro and mx linux anything any linux os if you use with this system you are not gonna face this issue at all because linux uses different open source amd drivers where no issue is there there is no issue in open source but only issue in the windows driver here you can see i have tried with different linux os in this system and i have never ever faced any problem this is only the software issue or the driver issue so here you can see i am just showing you a playback issue that there is no issue at all that's why i am talking with you 
just wasting your time i know but yes here you can see in the screen that there is no frame drop or any lagging issue now let me talk about how you can get the automatic tax scheduler go to the start menu search scheduler you will see the tax scheduler so if you open the tax scheduler window and maximize it in the right side you will see the new tax so click on the new tax and here you will, you will give any name i will give the name ryzen fix and in the bottom click the higher priority or higher privilege option make it tick so that the command or the script will run as administrator by default internally automatically so that the first thing is there in the second tab you have to select the when it will trigger basically you can trigger at the startup of the system or at a logon i will prefer logon or whatever startup whatever you want startup will be at the boot time and logon will be the when you enter the password it will sign into the windows that time so does not matter anything click the any user so that not only you any other user who will log in will run the script in background automatically third option is select the program so startup program or select the program is there so you have to select that ryzen adj exe file from the extracted folder wherever when anywhere you can put in the windows system does not matter just give the link here and in the argument just type dash dash mean dash vcn equal to 600 don't worry i will give everything in the description you just copy from there so after that here you can see the total command how it looks like exactly we have run the same command using the command prompt as run as administrator some while like the same thing will be run when you boot up your system so from the next boot you do not have to manually set up everything everything have been already set up in the tax manager it will run when you next boot up and log in to the windows system and you will never face screen tuttering issue so that's all in this video do let me know in the comment section if you have follow this tutorial in your system and problem is fixed or not i will be very happy that if you if you fix this problem after watching this video thanks a lot for watching this video stay subscribed to some tips